Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Daughter of Increase. My name is Nay Denise, for those of you who are new to the channel or who just happen to stumble across this video. And I'm the founder and CEO of Daughter of Increase Ministries. That is DOI Ministries. And here on this channel, I help you guys to increase in your faith and relationship with God and Christ through Bible studies, book reviews, discussions, and more. And I do that by posting twice a week, every Wednesday and Saturday, and occasionally on Tuesdays. And this video, as the title says, is going to be a coffee haul. I'm not sure if this is going to be a uh, part two of coffee hall two i might just make it coffee hall three but yeah um you guys know i'm going to be starting coffee times especially for the month of october i cannot wait where um i have a drink of sorts it might not be coffee it might be you know a cappuccino a latte it might be tea whatever the case may be and have a discussion with you guys and so to gear for that I'm, I'm i'm doing my hauls right and so this is going to be a combination of the nespresso and walmart because i do have a bag of walmart stuff to show you guys we're not going to talk about that um actually it's not even walmart stuff it's stuff i got from target <laughs> but um yeah i'm gonna share with you guys because i finally got to nespresso so excited and so i found the nespresso in the boutique nearby and um we just went on a whim and grabbed some stuff i have three six nine 12 sleeves of coffee and each sleeve holds 10 and um it's very inexpensive honestly so i was excited i was really super 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 excited and i did also get my welcome gift which i'll show you guys after i share the coffee but um i am not let me just say this i am not a coffee connoisseur um is that the right word i am not um well versed in a different you know lingo the, the, the i'm not well versed in the lingo for coffees and teas and all that i just know that i love a good cup of tea a good cup of coffee right and so um i know there are some people who are like diehard and espresso people not me sorry um and i also want to let you guys know i do not have an espresso machine i do not have a bravilla bravilla i don't even know what that machine is called i don't have one i am thinking of getting my mom and i did see the espresso vitoral in walmart and we are debating on getting that towards like christmas time um just to add because the coffee maker we have is an instant pot and i know somebody can be like oh my god that's not a real coffee maker it makes good coffee for us we're good we're we don't care about all that extra stuff um and so we have the instant pot three in one which makes k-cups uh espresso capsules which are basically the nespresso pods um or any other like brand and then it has uh you can put coffee in refillable k-cups to use ground coffee and so we have that and so i thought you know maybe if we do decide to get an espresso it would be the batoro so that way we have all types of coffees that we can do and we don't have to worry about which coffee we're buying right so yeah, I just want to say that to get that out the way. So we're going to dive in. I'm going to tell you guys the notes. I'm looking at my lap, my laptop, my tablet over here, but I have them here. And so I did get two of their limited edition ones. Um, the first one I got is the Lim Lim Limnaya Over Ice. I don't even know how to say it, y'all. Excuse me, but that is the name right there. Um, this is said to be used as a espresso. It tells you here whether you should do ristretto, espresso, or lango. Do I know the lango? No. I just know that my uh, Instant Pot does for espresso. It does a two-ounce shot, a four-ounce, and a six-ounce. So, I'm going to just say two, four, and six. But um, it says espresso, which is about two ounces. So, whatever. Um, this is lime and mint espresso. So, we wanted to try that. And then I got the pumpkin spice cake because... I mean, it's pumpkin spice, so why not? Um, so we have that, and this is to be sweet pumpkin and cinnamon. Now, I'm not sure if it's going to be like that vanilla flavoring because it is called pumpkin spice cake. I would hope so, but we'll see. Um, then I got the Frito Delicato, I think that's how the woman said it. Um, this is supposed to be a sweet and light espresso. Now, there's Frito Intenso, which is a lot more bolder and darker. I mean, it's called Intenso. But um, Delicato is this one, which is supposed to be sweet and light. And I do like espresso that has that kind of like sweet tea-like finish. And I'll share with you guys my favorite one thus far. But we have that one. The packaging is super cute. Um, so then from there, I got two vanilla eclairs because I've heard many people worry about this one and the next one I'm going to share. So, um, two vanilla eclairs. And this is just vanilla flavoring. Um, straight vanilla espresso. So I have two of those. Um, and then I got two of the Chiaros because this Chiaro is actually, what is it? Um, a sweet biscuit, which I know a lot of people rave about. This one and the other one is um kasi i think it is but i got two of the chiaro ones so 
yeah i'm excited i am excited i'm excited we got two of those um moving on what's next i have the world explorations okay i feel like i'm missing something yeah okay so i have two from the world explorations i am going to be getting a few more um i'll just tell you guys i'm gonna get the rio de, rio de janeiro i'm gonna get the istanbul i'm gonna get the paris i'm gonna get the miami and i think the buenos aires longo um those are the ones that i'm gonna get but i have two because i needed it um so the first one is shanghai and this one has fruitiness and fine acidity i believe if i'm not mistaken this is the one that has those orangey flavors i can't even tell you guys right now where's my stylus and um hopefully it'll show me with the stylus over it yeah so this one has um a smooth and fruity blend from four distinct oranges um origin excuse me it has hints of oranges peach and red fruit which really intrigued me and so i decided i was gonna go get this one um so that's shanghai and then of course i got tokyo because i love i love it, tokyo i love tokyo and the packaging on this is super cute so this one was uh, stated to be a fruity complex one and so this one has flowery notes refined roastiness and a hint of fruit so i'm excited the most for this i really am like that's like the one i'm super super excited for um and i guess i can run through the other ones again since i have the actual descriptions now for you so chiaro sorry guys chiaro which is this one it is roastiness um caramel biscuit notes and it's great when you add milk so we're gonna try that one because a lot of people worry about it and then the vanilla eclair is just a vanilla on a base of malted cereal um so it's supposed to remind you of an actual vanilla eclair i never had a vanilla eclair so yeah maybe i'll try one depending on how that tastes um the frito delicato sorry guys this is kenyan beans over fruity flavors and um it's lightly grounded to give delicate notes so we have that one then the lemon the, the lemon or the lime over ice that one because y'all know yeah this one is lime and mint flavors with a light fruity arabica espresso or is it arabica is i don't know if it's arabica or arabica i've heard people say it both ways so yeah um and then this one the pumpkin spice cake is supposed to be warming spice pumpkin warming spice and pumpkin cake so yeah um so moving on to the last three that i have for this haul for this one um like i said there's a bunch more i'm getting <laughs> just saying i got the three that really seemed to intrigue me the most um and so i'm going to say columbia first um that's the one i got it says whiny and red fruits uh but it says Whiny red fruit notes of black currants and cranberry surface. Oh, I don't know about that. I didn't know it had cranberry. We still gonna try it anyway. Um, then I got Nicar Nicaragua. <laughs> it's supposed to be honey and sweet cereal. It says black honey um, with sweet cereal notes. And then the last one I got, because it sounded interesting. It is fruit jam and orange blossom. And I love a good orange blossom. That's probably one of my favorite green teas to have. But this one was Ethiopia um and this one says orange blossom aroma and rich fruit jam notes um so yeah i'm just looking at like the basic notes on the website i'm not going into depth um when i do my videos i will definitely share like the coffee i'm drinking the notes and all that but um we have that so i also got my welcome gifts so this one is specifically the one for the original line because that's what my coffee maker takes the original um so they always make gifts that work for the original and also for the Batoro. i don't have the Batoro, so yeah um but when you open it this is what you see um so this one says give your capsules a second life so i think inside are recycling bags yeah so they have like a recycling program that they do in new york city you just throw it in the recycling bin but in other states they do give you that and you ship it back for your charge or you can drop it off i probably would just fill up the two bags and then take it when i go to purchase in person um then it says here's to many nespresso moments we hope you enjoy the journey oh i can't wait and inside it looks like this so you get the two espresso shot glasses the um saucer and some coasters and a free
coffee. So this one is Scoro, which is actually another one I wanted to try. And I don't know what the notes are for it. So let me actually look that up for you guys. I'm probably saying it wrong. Who knows? Um, Scoro, Scoro, whatever it's called. I'll show you guys in a second. This one looks like that. That's the name. And it says... Um, intense while beautifully balanced with milk it has sweetness to it that's literally what it says uh, it don't say anything else y'all yeah just roasted and balanced so Skiro was the free one that I got um, and then here are the little espresso glasses they're so cute they're just so stinking tiny and cute with a little Nespresso symbol on it. So we have two of those puppies with the um, saucer. And the saucer and cup were designed exclusively for Nespresso by the Swiss studio Atelier. Oh, I know who that is. Okay, awesome. And so this is what the, oh, that is so dope. One side is matte, one side is shiny. That is dope, y'all. That is dope. And so in essence, this is how your, your espresso would be. But um, I normally make an espresso shot and then put it in my creamers and stuff you guys have seen on Instagram. And then it comes with the two uh, saucers. So this one is for Darden Columbia. It's the musical coffee farm. And on the back, it gives you information. And then this one is Turkish coffee. So, yeah, we have that. So that's everything I got from Nespresso, y'all. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited to be, like, officially a, a Nespresso girl. Excited. But now we're going to get to the rest of the coffee that I got. So, yeah. Um, first things first, I got another one of the vanilla lattes for my son because he's been drinking these puppies up. He loves having um, lattes at night with me and we either play the game or watch an anime or something like that or a movie. So this is what I got. Um, this is a 20 count. I prefer the 40 count because it's a lot bigger. Um, but the 40 count I think I can only get, um, from BJ's or was it Amazon? I don't remember. Um, but I got these from Target. And then I got the Cafe Escapes Chai Latte. I do like a good chai. I prefer mine to be like... Uh, vanilla french vanilla chai or pumpkin spice chai but i did get regular chai for my sister to try out um and then i got a bag here of things it's in a walmart bag but i got all this from target um first thing i did not get from target these two teas i don't know where the other one is i got two teas off of amazon um so i got the puka chamomile vanilla and manuka honey i don't like chamomile tea but I wanted to try this one because um, it has vanilla and manuka honey. And I do like manuka honey in it. So, um, yeah, I'm going to try this out. And then I think there is a box set. They have, like, three different sets on Amazon that I want to try out. Um, but I think I'm only going to get the one that says love on it. I can't remember what it is. Um, then I got my Lady Grey uh, black tea. There is a there's an Earl Grey tea that I really like that has... Um, it has lavender in it and I need to find it but I can't find it anywhere and that's one of my favorite black teas because I love lavender in anything um I know that I think it's stash tea has Paris which has lavender in it I believe but um yeah this one is lady gray and this one has uh citrus flavors in it so it's not just the bergamot there are other like citrusy flavors in it um so yeah and I love twinings twinings is definitely one of my favorite teas to go to um then we got some starbucks tea we I mean starbucks coffee don't judge me i got the ver veranda blend um because it has the blonde coffee that i love the blonde day the blonde coffee that i love and i could not find the espresso capsules anywhere and so i'm gonna give this one a go this is like i said the ver veranda blend it's notes of toasted malt and milk chocolate and it's made with that blonde coffee and it is one of the lightest um coffees that starbucks has so we have the cake ups for that then i got the sumatra it is rich herbs and rustic spice um it sounded interesting so i wanted to try it i there ain't no other reason i just i just wanted to try it and i had the money to buy it so i got it right then we have the italian roast is that the last one? I think that was one of the last ones. The Italian roast, which has dark cocoa and toasted marshmallow. And so when it comes to chocolate notes, I am very particular, right? Very, very particular. I wanted to try this because it has marshmallow in it. So I wanted to see if that would like mellow out the chocolate notes. Um, I'm not a big fan of chocolate flavoring in coffees and teas. Like I have the Snickers, um, the Snickers coffee and I cannot for the life of me really enjoy it. And then I bought the, the Snickers creamer, the chocolate note in that, it just made it too much for me. So I'm going to try the Snickers coffee again with like a regular sweet cream creamer or something like that. But, um, I wanted to try this out. Oh, but it is a dark roast as well. So we'll see. 
we don't know um and then i got this green mountain coffee roasters this one is in brown sugar crumble it just sounded good um do i have i ever had their coffees no i do have their other one their vanilla something ice cream or whatever i have that one um but yeah i wanted to try this one it says buttery brown sugar and hints of cinnamon so it should be fine like it, it really should be fine right then i got another one of pete's espressos and the vichesa which is the berry and brown sugar i really really enjoy that one i'll show these last because i bought a bunch of these just because my mom was like loving it and that's probably one of my favorite like new tea like coffees to drink but i got more from target which um is their good and gather signature line they have actual like espresso capsules that you can get so um this one is their just vanilla espresso capsule so it's just vanilla cream that that's it nothing else to say about that just straight vanilla um on that this one is the altissimo which uh it has notes of citrus zest candied spices and it's bold and full body and this is an intensity of 11 um so i'm excited to try that one out um and then the last one i have five boxes of <laughs> because i love this one so much i'll show you guys this one this is the pisante i think i don't even know that I, I, if i'm saying it right um will it focus here we go and this one is apparently the lungo pour um i do this as a straight up just two ounce shot if i want to do maybe more i'll do six but um this has it's delicate and toasted with a light body and tea like finish and when they say tea like finish y'all this is bomb like this is one of my favorite ones and i have my mom try it she was loving it and so i definitely went and bought five boxes y'all let me let me just show y'all how crazy we are because we we really drink coffee like for real for real in this house so i got five boxes of it <laughs> mind you i already have two boxes i think in rotation um we already finished up a box we finished up like three boxes of the blonde um espresso so um yeah that is it for this coffee haul this will be tuesday's video so this video is going up on tuesday though i'm recording it on saturday and um, wednesday's video will be a flip through of nehemiah and my bible so you guys can see my notes how i took notes what notes i wrote and things like that but um yeah that is it i'm gonna go and relax for the rest of the day finish up my fin tries finish my caramel uh caramel ribbon crunch from starbucks watch some anime play some video games and prepare for sunday um and redo these braids because i didn't realize like my braids was like sticking out the hair from my, my braids was stick i didn't know that and my mom let me go outside and i was like oh my god i didn't know that and she was like you didn't know that i was like no nah, i didn't know that so we're gonna rebraid this up even though i'm taking it out tomorrow for church but yeah i'm gonna go thank you guys for watching and um yeah another thing i know my nails looking busted and crazy i had these nails on since uh august 21st i had these for almost two months now y'all um this one um my nail completely like my actual if you guys can see my nails are long a lot of you guys ask me about my nails my nails underneath are long right they're very long however this one broke and so it's regrowing this one completely snapped across underneath on my actual nail and not the acrylic so that came off and then this one is causing me pain because it's cracking from the back and so the plan is to go get these done asap um and i will have another espresso haul coming for you guys as well but um, i'm gonna go and i will catch you all in the next video